Hello everyone! My name is Tudai, and today we are playing Firewatch. Uh, I've been waiting for this game for like yeah, uh, yeah a few months, uh, I think like a half a year or something. But it looked really awesome. I, I saw some demo they showed off. And uh, essentially you are a fire lookout in Yellowstone. Uh, like 1989, yeah, a, a year after some big fire that took place in Yellowstone, uh, up in Wyoming. And this guy had a bad life, apparently, so he wanted to settle down and do something in the nature. I think we should hear more about him when we start it. But, yeah. Some strange things are going to happen. What I know. So let's see what this is about. I don't know yet how long these episodes will be, but we'll see. And here we go. It's made in Unity as well, so it might be a bit weird. It's uh, published by Panic and developed by Santo Campo Campo Santo Campo Santo Boulder, Colorado. All right. I see Julia. Should I press this? Oh. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Bowler. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Maybe I should do this in a drunk voice instead. Maybe I sound drunk as well. Already. Uh, you look pretty. You're... You're pretty! She's... She, she, okay. You, what? You're not... Your future hangover. What? What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy your cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later you are Julia's boyfriend. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I'm not good at reading these. Uh, oh well. She's my girlfriend now, apparently. Because she liked me anyway. My backpack. Alright. Okay, so I'm getting my car. That might fall off, you know. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with the view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Yulia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Yulia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gently eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Yulia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, so you get the shoes. It's the German Shepherd or the Beagle. 
I don't know, but she wants to have the the, the small one. Get the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. You talk out on the deck. Oh, it's 1979. You talk on, out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Okay. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying... If you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. One day, why rush? I don't know, I can't remember how old they were. Twenties? Something? One day, why rush? She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. What's, what's that? My ovaries didn't get the memo, <laughs> she says, laughing it off. One day, okay. Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying. You get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Oh, yeah. hmm. so we are actually. We're just telling the story. How we got here in the first place. No fireworks. Where are we? There? I don't know. I can't see any indicator. Well, let's keep going. What's this? Mailbox or something. Th this looks really nice. More text. 1980. It's the first day, night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call, you're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly have clearly been having fun, a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to, to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Nineteen eighty one Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research she draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose some flex like he man. Of course. You look awesome. Yeah, I do. You just jump down three meters or something. I don't know what they, m they meant. I heard in a review of this game that the frame rate was very bad. And this is perfect. And my computer is like four years old. Look at her. 
eight more miles. Okay. Hop over. There we go. Looks awesome. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. B -b Bab, fuck the dog. Bucket gets hit. What? Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You reach into your pockets like you got the gun to threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia also take a different path from that day forward. What? She wanted me to, to bash his face in? You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids, yet waylaid by work. Is that, that like postponed or something? Or, I guess. Julia gets offered a job at jail. Jail is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department's chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. This is hard. Mm. Yeah, let's try this one for her sake. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to, to Connecticut. He says, sis. He says that that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you. But she'll do it if you don't won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three three times each semester. Okay, so she comes back three times. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an, an episode. She lost it on a on a co colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink, drink wine and try to forget about it. I don't know. Maybe she just needs to relax some. I don't know. But women do like to talk, so... <laughs> After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Okay. That's not very good. I'm stationary here. What the hell? Is that me? <laughs> yeah, that's me. 
Bucket is getting older. Yulia comments that that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Nineteen eighty-seven. We're we're closing in. Yulia's affection gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Okay. Some day some days you get some days you get the the Yulia who call oh some some days you get the Yulia who calls you a dope and you unborn children's little idiots other days you get a stranger oh now I understand what I just said <laughs> she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her for a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day she gets worse 1988 you spend your days following Yulia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Yulia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of I'll do it myself. <laughs> I wonder if all these choices will make a difference in, in the game. This looks really nice. Oh, a deer. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer... Co co college? Ba basketball in the winter? Drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You can't just lock her in, but it's for her own good. Yeah. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. Way off. You are home and in bed at 1am a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 
1989. One night you're stopped by a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for a night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So I guess this is the job then. The fire lookout. Wow, that, that was a lot of text and I hope you understand or understood what I said, but you could have read it anyway, so. Okay, so this is my lookout tower, I guess. This looks so beautiful. I like the uh, cartoonish style, like blended with uh, re realistic visuals. This looks old. So this is the first time I, I get uh, I get here, I guess. Let's just generate a switch. There we go. Oh, we got power. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello? Can I ha hold that shift? Oh. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Mm. Okay, um, you're My probably is... just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe... You just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Oh, God. We're 24 minutes in. Almost. Good morning, Henry. Well, and we have started. Good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Yeah, I'm trying. How can I? Oh, there it is. Give me. It. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah. Jesus. I guess it's what six. Six forty-five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fireworks? Fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? I'm trying. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. No, oh, okay. Convenient. That's one word for it. So my scroll is uh, fucked up. So, so like talking on the radio, I have to scroll through the uh, options. But yeah, doesn't work that well. I have to fix that someday, or after this video, I know how to fix it. So. Can't I go any faster than this? There we go. So it's when I hold shift, I pull up my radio. Was it this way? West? Yeah. I can hear it. So M to read map. Can I? So I just follow this this path down to the lake, I guess. There was a supply box down here, right? Can I get it? Yeah. Why are they f shooting fireworks at like seven in the morning? Isn't even dark or anything. That's a box. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. No what? Okay, that's probably old as fuck. Uh, no, but I want everything. I want this as well. I don't want to eat it right now. Okay, just no crap. How do I eat it? E. old stuff okay hey man guy suppose the light blip 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 alright can I close this yeah. maybe I should keep it open so I know I've been here before where am I Uh, should wait a second. I'm going that way. 
Oh, I was thinking. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the right path. Jogging. He's not fucking jogging. No, he's jogging. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Okay, let's do this. I just want to see this first mission, see what happens. Damn, kids with the fireworks! Oh god. That gotta hurt. Hmm. wrong with you my rope snapped coming down the shale slide you didn't break anything did you no I think I'll make it well, be careful for Christ's sake trying it is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake I haven't been down there in years but yeah Jonesy Lake area is perfect I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. I can clean up. I'm not sure if I have to do it, but uh, I think I hear music. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain Is stupid, it does it? I guess. Those are mine. Pick me up trash. This is YouTube quality. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Save for later. I'm not keeping that for, uh, for uh, something else. Hmm. Okay. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there. So tell them off and then head back. Okay. Just picks it up. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, ant fumes. There are what? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? There's a. Uh, Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like 
naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to make your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you fucking kids. Setting up fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. <coughs> mm, yeah. Did I leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. Sounds like great. So there's no, uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no, but that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. I don't want to have this with me, so fuck off. Let's just get back to the tower, I guess. I've seen this part before in a video they had. So, country does it like say anything about it because nothing is really new to me right now. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. What is it? Um. I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay. So we gotta, gotta find a new, another way up. That's thunder. Can we get through here? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> there we go. So I can... Oh. Maybe I should have done that with the other one. 
What's in here? Flashlight. No batteries. Oh, ah. oh there. There we go. I don't think I'll need that. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I don't need any, need any fucking keys. Looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. All right. I bless the rains down in Africa! Can I do it again? No? <laughs> Alright. Climb rocks. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get back before the storm. And that's her place, I think, yeah. It was right here. So it must have got, gone up the... Or up here, perhaps? I don't know. Let's try this way. excited for this game it's just this part I've, I've seen before like I said at least some of it some things might be new I can hop over into nothing okay well, I had a choice, so... Get up here... Climb the rocks... my pooper ah. 
fucking sign. But I want this up in my tower. This is mine now. What the hell? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. What the hell is this? From a typewriter? There's no one here. Oh crap. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. Okay. Put back again. I saw it. Okay, so okay, what do I, I do? Okay. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? <clears throat> Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. <laughs> well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and... Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Okay. So let's end the uh, episode here because I didn't know if we had any, any um, like checkpoints, but apparently we we did. So I hope you like this. It's it seems awesome, but. Uh, like I said, I've seen some of this before in this uh, first uh, part of the game. Not the, all the text and all that. I haven't read that before. But like walking down to the girls and up to the tower again. I've seen that. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.